could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in hey guys and welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you haven't it is so nice of you to pass by i do hope that you hit that subscribe button and also if you are subscribed make sure that you turn on that little bell so you get notified whenever i upload so for today's video as you can probably tell by the thumbnail it's going to be a tutorial with the brand new urban decay naked heat palette so if you want to see how i did this just keep on watching okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is prime up my eyelids and i'm doing that with this essence shadow base primer which i'm really enjoying lately and then i'm setting that primer with the first shade from the urban decay palette which is the one chaser it is a nice matte light shade next i'm taking the shade low blow which is a neutral brown and i'm applying that both in the outer corner and inner corner of my eye because i will be creating kind of like a halo effect makeup look today which i haven't done in a while but if you look back at my videos when i started i used to do this a lot and i haven't done it in a while so i thought why not so that it's what i'm doing Next I'm taking the shade Heat Devil which is like a terracotta shade, kind of reddish, kind of brownish and I'm applying that once again both in the outer and inner corners of my eye but as opposed to the corners of the eye I'm applying that more in closer to the lid of the eye. And then once I applied that shade in both corners I kind of connect the colors on top so like a halo that's why they call it that and i don't know if you noticed but i did the exact same thing with the first neutral shade then i'm moving on to dirty talk which is a beautiful reddish orangish metallic shade you guys know i love those and i'm applying that right in the center of the lid then i'm taking the shade en fuego which is like a darker red with like a hint of purple and i'm applying that right on top of heat double i just wanted the inner and outer corner to be slightly darker than it was already there's not much difference between these two this one is just a little bit darker and also a little bit more purple then i'm moving on to the face and the first thing that i'm doing is priming my face with this primer mask i have never seen anything like this so i'm so excited to use this so this is a mask that you're just supposed to apply leave it on for five minutes and then just apply your makeup right on top of it and i did cut it in the bridge of the nose area because I didn't want my brows to get messed up so that's just what I'm doing I left this on for five minutes and then I remove it and there's like a lot of serum or I guess primer left so I just kind of patted that onto the skin so that I could help it just sink into the skin and absorb better and then that's it I just move on and continue applying the rest of my makeup and I felt that this actually worked my makeup stayed on in place and yeah it was pretty good then I'm applying some foundation, which I haven't used this one in such a long time. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I was obsessed with this like two years ago. And then, I don't know, you just try on new things and you just kind of move on. But I like this foundation so much. It stays matte, it stays in place, and it just has a beautiful, natural, but fresh matte finish. I'm just applying that foundation with a pointed foundation brush as opposed to like a buffing one as I usually do but then I just go over that with a sponge because those brushes tend to leave streaks on your face which is why I tend to not use them but the Beauty Blender sponge makes it way better. Then moving on to concealer, I'm applying this concealer by LA Girl. This is the super popular HD concealer. I have had this for... I think like a year to be honest but the first time I used it I did not like it at all I don't know what it is about it today I'm actually not completely sold on it but I don't know I don't know if maybe I got a bad one but it, it kind of leaves like chunks of pigment on the skin I don't know if it's just mine if you've had that problem let me know but maybe I got a bad one I don't know but it does cover but it just has that imperfection and then I'm setting that concealer with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder as I usually do because it is the best powder, honestly. It's just the best. I am also setting my foundation even though this foundation doesn't get oily through the day. I'm still setting it just because I want a little bit more coverage and I'm doing that with my L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder which I've said it in my past two videos. I'm really, really into this powder lately. It has a similar finish to the Mag Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, but it's cheaper. 
so it's awesome then I'm moving back to the eyes I'm taking heat double once again and I'm applying that in the inner and outer corners of my lower lash line and then I'm placing dirty talk right in the center and I don't know if you saw that but I applied a little bit of that dark brown right on the lash line just to kind of break up the red and not have it too close to my eyes and then I'm taking the shade ounce which is a light satin finish shade and I'm applying that right on my brow bone now moving back to the face, I'm applying some bronzer and this one is by the brand Pure Cosmetics and this is their Mineral Glow Bronzer. And then I'm applying some highlights which I am obsessed with lately after not liking it and this is the one by Smashbox. It is one of the Casey Holmes ones, I believe. This is the pearl one and this is the first lightest shade which as you can see it is just fireworks it is just light bulbs I mean it's so bright and then I'm still taking that same shade and applying that in the inner corners of my eyes and to finish off my eyes I'm just applying some mascara I am again skipping lashes I'm on a no falsies campaign love your lashes that's what I'm saying and this is the one by essence this is the lash princess for this look, I was kind of feeling like a grunge vibe, so I'm applying a nude brown on my lips, and this is Boho by Nude Sticks. And finally, to finish off the entire look, I'm applying a natural looking blush, and this one is Satin Love by the brand Essence. I could swear that I'm fading, I think I'm losing my sight, I swear I'm hitting the floor. I could swear that my stomach just sunk me. And that brings us to the end of this beautiful look thank you so 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 much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos again thank you so much for watching bye